was like a courtroom, eyes glued, you can't move. As the defendants are called forth in question about what they used to do. Where is so and so, the son of so and so, and so it goes. One by one, each shall reap what they've sown. The angels do as they are told, bringing slaves to the throne. You watch your friends and family moan, dreading this moment all alone. When they will have to answer for the lifestyles that they chose. Your name is coming up, you can feel it in your bones. The one who receives his book of deeds in his right hand is pleased. Jumping out of joy and glee, he pleads, look at my book, read. The one who received his book of deeds in his left hand will scream out of agony. He was deceived as this world was just deceit. Amongst the first to be called to account surprisingly are the martyrs and the scholars and those from amongst the wealthy who gave what they gave and did what they did not for the sake of he but so that people would say their names. What a shame. So enter the fire as you please. Next would be anybody who spilled blood unjustly the murderers would ransom the world for the chance to be free today is the day that justice will be guaranteed even the animal that was trampled on will be dealt with correctly and on that day you will even see a man with all his good deeds I mean fasting and prayer and tons of charity but unfortunately he cursed this one and slandered that one with envy so now he's bankrupt as his good deeds leave his account emptied and who is ready to receive all the questions that will be asked about you until then you won't move your feet what kind of life did you lead what about your youth and proceeds how did you act upon your knowledge and what kind of body did you feed they will be frightened when they see their outcomes for eternity when everything you live for was nothing more than just a dream and now you are awake for for the first time it seems reality has made its way to your brain on this eve alas could it really be the angel begins to speak and you hear your name pronounced perfectly unique as your soul is escorted by the guards to your seat to stand before your lord for your own moment of critique <laughs>
day you shall be brought to judgment. Not a single secret of yours will be hidden. Then, as for him who will be given his record in his right hand, he will say, Take this, read my record. Surely I believe that I would meet my account. So he shall be in a life well-pleasing, in a lofty paradise, with fruit in bunches which will be low and near at hand. Eat and drink with ease for that which you have sent before you in days past. But as for him who will be given his record in his left hand, he will say, I wish that I had not been given my record, and that I had never known of my account. I wish that it would have been my end. My wealth has not availed me. My power and arguments have failed me. It will be said, seize him and fetter him, then throw him into the blazing fire, then fasten him with a chain of which the length is seventy cubits. Surely he did not believe in Allah, the most great. On the day of resurrection, Allah Azza wa Jal will single out a man in front of the entire creation and will unfold for him 99 records of bad deeds. And each record will extend so high that you will not be able to see its end. Allah will ask him, do you deny any of this? Were the recording angels unfair to you? He will reply, no, my Lord. Allah will ask him, do you have any excuses? He will reply, no, my Lord. Allah will say, however, you have one good deed recorded with us, and indeed there is no injustice today. A card will then be brought out which reads, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. Allah will tell him, prepare your weights. He will respond, O oh my Lord, what would this card do against these records? Allah Azza wa Jal will say, You will not be shown any injustice today. When the bad deeds are placed on one side, in this tiny little card on the other, this tiny little card will weigh down the entire scale. Subhanallah, look at the power of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, brothers and sisters. Never underestimate what it means to truly believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, because perhaps for some of us, it may be the only thing that saves us from the fire.